Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for October 7th of 2022, well, it is titled In Ganymede's Shadow. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken of Jupiter. And in fact, this one was taken with a small telescope in a backyard in Arizona. So not all of the images that we see and all of the beautiful images we get are taken by things like Hubble and the James Webb Telescope. We get many, many excellent images taken from backyards such as this one. Now, Jupiter right now is at opposition and perihelion. Opposition means it is opposite to the sun in the sky and therefore rises at sunset and is up all night long. An object at perihelion is at its closest to Earth, meaning that it's going to look a little bit larger. So we're getting a very good view of Jupiter right now because these two happen to coincide. Jupiter is up all night long and visible to us in the night sky at the same time that it is at its closest. Now you're not going to be able to see it as anything more than a bright point of light if you look at it in the sky. However, through Im images, we can see much more detail here. And in fact, we can see the distinct banding, alternating light and dark bands that we see on Jupiter. We see the great red spot, that large storm that has been existing on Jupiter for hundreds of years. And it is a great storm swirling there. And we can see all the material that swirls around it. So all of the uh, atmospheric turbulence that we can see within and around that great storm. And finally, down to the lower right-hand side, we see a dark splotch there. That is the shadow of Ganymede. Ganymede is the largest of the moons in the solar system. And here it is casting a shadow on Jupiter. And much as if our moon, our moon casts a shadow on Earth, we would then be able to see an eclipse. So if you were located in that shadow in the atmosphere of Jupiter, you would see Ganymede blocking out the sun in a solar eclipse. So we think of eclipses with Earth, but they actually occur any place where an object can pass in front of the sun. So a planet with a large moon, at least large relative to the size of our sun, could also have an eclipse such as we see here today. So that was our picture of the day for October 7th of 2022. It was titled In Ganymede's Shadow. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.